Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter Podcast. Quick shout out to our OG sponsors, Manscaped.com. They've been there since the start of sponsorships. They've hung in there while other sponsors have came and went because we're too soft. And Manscaped have stayed with us because you guys keep buying these tremendous products, okay? And Valentine's Day is coming up and you're going to want to have that silky smooth pouch. So what do you do? You go on to Manscaped.com. You use the code GEMBANT1, you get 20% off. This whole carry on here. You got the lawnmower 4.0, you got, you know, crop preserve. What's it called? Crop duster? Crop preserve? I don't know what it's called. But it's ball deodorant. So if you got that stanky bag, <laughs> you can put on the ball deodorant and it's just, it's as good as new. You know, you've got this all, this toner thing here you put on after you've shaved it. Keeps the nuts taut. Okay, they give you boxers, they give you all sorts of stuff. There's a, there's a travel bag in there, you can put all the stuff in. It's unbelievable. So if you've got a guy in your life who's got a bit of a bush going on, just go on to manscaped.com, use the code jambat one get 20% off. And it's called Manscaped, and it's aimed towards men. But here, there's nothing stopping you taking that to your fucking fluff muffin. <laughs> Girls can use it too. And that's science. So that's manscaped.com. Use the code jambat one for 20% off. Get in there! You ain't got no money for clothes or kind of... <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. Need I? I think it was in Guardians of the Galaxy or something. Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians of uh, Guardians Guard- of the Galaxy. Guardians is... Side the fuck. Are we rolling? Are we good? <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter Podcast. We're, we're, we're on a new schedule, Mick. Right. I'm recording this today. You know, opportunist. We're getting together for a comedy club, and I was like, "Do you want to do a podcast?" Thanks for coming along. Thank you for having me. No problem at all. Up the raw, uh, indeed. So this will be our Tuesday. Lovely. We're recording on Thursday for Tuesday, and that's what I—that's what I call an adult decision. You know, just doing adult shit, no, like hitting record. Just <laughs> yeah, just hitting record, fucking about a minute into it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Leave it up to your imagination. Uh, what, what, what you want to? Uh, I thought you were going to put the shirt on. You, you just what? I'm going to put it on after we eat, in case, you, I, in case I get buffalo sauce down myself. <laughs> buffalo sauce. Do you think everyone that's on Lavery's is slowly, not that anyone's turning into anyone else, but everyone's thinning out to the same fatness type of <laughs> thinning out. But everyone's just kind of morphing. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I think like we turn up more or less, weren't like. I, th- I think. Do, we're, do you know when a stomp like, like, like when women's periods sync up? Yeah, I was gonna, but I was thinking, you know, like at a, you know, like at a movie when The Rock stands with his stunt man, aye, and it's just another big bald guy. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Not that I'm The Rock, I would never suggest that for a second. Of course, aye, ah, but it's aye. like two guys that are kind of. It's like me. It's like The Rock and Kevin Hart. Back to the black one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that thing I shared on Instagram earlier? Now, it was from the movie June. And there was some dude, and they, they put this motherfucker uh, in. Sarge Guard. Sarge Guard. Alexander Squish Guard. It's how they say it. Alexander Squish Guard. When you're from Scandinavia. Alexander Squish Guard. This motherfucker, now, I'm not bringing up the computer, but I'll show you. This guy was supposed to be. That is me. Was that Alexander Squash Guard? Yeah. Fuck. I'm going to have to Google it now to get it up on the screen. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I've just realized who Alexander uh, Shin Guard is, and it's. Oh, no, it's his dad. Yeah. How many? Because Ale- Alexander uh, Shish Kebab is it? Yeah. 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 No, 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 that's his brother. That's Fuck. His brother. <laughs> and who's the other Sasquatch one that's in, <laughs> that's in like Dope Sick? What's his name? By the way, they, they aren't related. The one in Dope Sick isn't related to. I looked it up. Pe- Peter Sarsgaard? Yeah, he's a legend. Yeah, he's great. He's class. Also, the other complaint about the podcast was that you don't have a mic. <laughs> so sh- yeah. Enunciate, you fucking. <laughs> So who Learn am I, to talk. Who am I looking up here? Skarsgård? Alexander Fairgård. Scotch tape. What's his name? <laughs> Alec Sander. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Baldwin. No, wait a minute. Who's the dad then? Uh, Stalin. Stalin. Stalin? Stalin. Stalin. S-T-E. Stalin, that's the man. Do you know the guy that invented Adidas? His name is Adi Dassler. I don't show no for way. Adolf. No way. Yeah. Seriously? The only two Adolfs ever. Fucking hell. I bet he was like, hello, I have invented some sneakers. My name is Adolf Dassler. And then the war came out. He's like, it's Addy. Hi. It's actually, that's true about Nike as well. He's called Genghis Khan Nike. Yeah. True story. It's actually knee-like. So. <laughs> oh, is it? I have no idea. 
Good job he wasn't called David. I had to call him Dag Shoes. <laughs> it's Richard Abach, actually, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> it's Harold Itak. <laughs> <laughs> And Philip Yuma, but the H is silent. The fuck's it all there? Uh, Pete Yuma, <laughs> big big man. Uh, what a guy! So now this is the longest fucking Google vault. <laughs> Let me see, Rhino. Fucking, what am I searching for? This is such a long walk to the well here. So basically, what you're saying is that guy was fat, and you should have done it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but not even that. It was so accurate. You know what I mean? It was so fuck. I can't even find. Have you seen? Have you seen June? Ah, huh? there. Hi, there's me just getting out of the bath, look. I can't turn this laptop. We need a TV in here. Who wants to sponsor this? Sorry, I've been in the bath with you, don't worry about it. <laughs> Have you? Right. you? Remember Hurricane Katrina? <laughs> Your ex? <laughs> oh, she did blow in furniture. <laughs> I just not me. I, w- I watched a, a bit of a throwback uh, vlog the other day. Uh-huh. Where we were in the house with you and an ex, but it was just me and you doing jiu-jitsu on the floor. Oh, blocked. Yeah. Oh, oh. I know. And, uh, and like, we're both wearing jammy bottoms and socks. That was, we were fucking, well, I was definitely steaming. Yeah. I feel like I got my bottom out. You did. Yeah. Flat out. Oh, good it's pretty normal. And I remember with another one of your, ex- or was it the same one? No, it was a different one. I. And you were like, uh, you know. What tends to happen is I oh, go. Oh, it is a different one. Yeah, what tends to happen is I go, I think you're ready to be in a video. And then I immediately go, I don't want to be with you. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Like, we, we were sitting in that. Where's this going? I know where I'm going. Away. That little TV room in your mom's house. With the two sofas in it. I remember an even different one. Yeah, it was a different there one. <laughs> it was a different there one. But you were just you were hammered like, and then you, you'd get up on the edge of the sofa and pulled your ass out. And I was like, I'm so glad I'm on this sofa because she's like staring right into the barrel. And you, and you just kept going, jiu-jitsu. And you were like, put your legs around and go, jiu-jitsu. And I was just sitting there <laughs> waiting for the smell to waft over. Uh, they're lucky girls, God bless them. They're lucky girls, you know what I mean? You get an All insight. married now, fair play to them. You get an insight anyway. I was at, uh, I was mm. like to go out with a fucking... Alcoholic. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. But you're in your own place now, Mick, oh, so you laughing great. now. Just wanking everywhere. V- VR oh, headset dude. on, just fucking cushions. Man, fucking, uh, it's, I haven't, I've had to put it in a cupboard and just not go near it. Your dick? A <laughs> uh, long time ago. <laughs> sure it fell off anyway. Huh? Yeah, VR headset thing is, uh, <laughs> it's it's a new low, like. How much is it? 300 quid. Which is alright. To be honest, it's fucking brilliant. Yeah. Like it's. Have you watched any movies or anything? Nah, or? just porn. Just porn. <laughs> <laughs> and eat, watching porn, you do go. Oh, it's too much. It's, it's way too much. Like you, you f- remember the documentary we watched on Channel Four about the guys that would like they would make their favorite porn star. Do you remember we? we well, I don't think we watched it together, but we were talking about it one time. Just two of us in bed with a blanket up uh, over our tits. Why'd you think of that one? Oh, oh, my it's math it's enough. Scandal. But remember, there's the big, there was some big fucking fat dude in a mobility scooter. Oh. And each one of them got the chance to actually have sex with their favorite porn star, and two of them were like, "Nah," because I've seen behind the scenes, and I, I really think it's exploitive. And this big fat guy was like, "I'll fucking do it! <laughs> Get over here! Bring your ass onto me scooter! Put it in the basket! <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw a gun in basket! <laughs> I wanted the Falklands, but, but but VR porn, you feel like him, really? Yeah." And also, you don't know how to get like, like get rid of the nunchuck fast enough to wank. So. <laughs> Is it called the nunchuck? I just said, I don't know. That's a way. Goes up your arse anyway. It's, but it's very, very strange now. Jesus Christ. But like, it, it, it is too much. That's weird. Like, yeah, it's, for me it is anyway. I'm just like that's that's not like there was. I I stuck it on to see if it just to see if you could actually get porn on it. And a free view started, and Ava Adams' tit appeared in my face, and my mouth went. Now you've said Ava Adams about ten times. Now yeah. you have to Google her. You ever seen just big old memories like Ava Adams? Adams, scars uh, guards, something. To say. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, I felt forever ago. Uh, okay, is it going that way? We had that conversation last night. We were just like, "How good's it gonna get?" Where you're just like, "I just don't need to speak to anyone." Yeah. You know, I honestly got like the, some. You like, want me to sit through dinner and drinks? I, I don't think nah, so. Yeah. Just I, so when I bought it, it was like machine. I, I didn't open it for a week when I bought it. I left it sitting, like yeah, because it was going. I, I know that's will just fucking take over anything I have to do, and then I'll start googling. Can you strap a bag to your ass to shit in? <laughs> and then I realized you can Google stuff on the headset. So now I'm like, do you need to take it off the Google? Is stuff. it like Alexa? Can you talk to it? I don't think so. How do you skim between, you know, if you've got a load of tabs open on the hub? 
Just the way you do the laptop, would you point? There's a wee, like, the wee hand thing that points. <laughs> like a wee wand. Yeah. Cock a wand hand, like fucking well, it's, more, it's more like a wee gun, you're all... Uh, but <laughs> very, very user-friendly. Is it? And uh, when you get calm on it, it's very easy to wipe off. Oh. My joke, I haven't actually completed a wank. I thought about one, and when I can't, I can't oh, do shut it. Shut up. I'm fucking dead serious. Shut up. I, I'm not even joking. Do you know what there, it is? It was the fact that, see, now, I might go looking for more porn. Who knows, right? But Who the only, knows, the only, me? The only things I could you? find, the only things I could find was like a dude sitting there, and then it's like you look, you can look down, and it's another guy's dick. Yeah. And it, it freaked me out. Okay. But that's the word. That's no, the way it's going. For like, a second, I was like, I wish. <laughs> like when it, when it gets when it gets better and better and better, you know, eventually you just be like, oh, that is my dick. That's my a dick. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. bought. Yeah, you be well, paying that for was it. The thing. Be- I fucking saw something on Instagram today. Apparently, some woman is it's my metacock. No, but some woman's been like, um, said she was like gang raped. Oh, stop. On the fucking meta thing, and they're investigating it. Oh my god. Which is like, you know she's new to computer games because we call that teabagging. <laughs> that like, That's a pile on What are you talking <laughs> about? Me, like, fuck me. So she She's walks trying to in steal there, your bitcoin. We, <laughs> show me that wee bitcoin. <laughs> walks in all fucking, you know, hey guys. And then just a load of... Yeah, a load of guys are going, I wonder if you can buck on this. We NFTs riding yeah. the life out. Like when you're playing Call it, or Grand Theft Auto, you take a hooker into the car. Yeah. <laughs> I've just done that in real life. Oh my god. I mean, it's it's always been there in computer games, hasn't it? Yeah. Go back to the the Duke, Duke Nukem, Nukem fucking four pixel tit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. L- load, of la- load of lads pulling the wire off themselves in their bedroom. Do you remember there was that thing? Listen to Bomb Funk MCs. <laughs> <laughs> there was something about it was the first Tomb Raider. There was some sort of fucking like remember when people used to get PlayStation's chip and they could get cheap games. Aye. And somebody had figured out a way to like basically like take her top off, so it was just Tomb Raider walking about with tits. But there were again those like mm-hmm. Cornetto ditties. Uh, Pixel wabs, yeah. Which at ten years of age, I was like, I'd love to see them by the bitch. Because I remember when the P- PlayStation One came out, I remember thinking they'll never make anything look more realistic. Like that looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. And now, fucking, even, 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 I've got somebody else's deck, and there's, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a fucking black deck. Fuck All me. I imagine is like you getting really carried away with the glasses on, you're like. Eh, fucking air riding and then it gets to the point where you get the goggles on you're just in a really odd position in your kitchen just go, and just coming on your own <laughs> flip flops I think I think the only way it would work is just point um, at that far from the wall but you don't know I think the only way it would work is if you set the VR port up when you're like on the goggles and then when it started it shouted quickly to your girlfriend <laughs> get right get right oh, oh, good woman it's, it's terrifying. Like, when the video started, I was looking up at Eve Adams' arsehole, and it's, it's, I've said it in stand-up, and I'll say it again. It's the size and shape of 50p. Really? Like, you could take a coin and put it in another ass, and it wouldn't... Flip a like, coin Flip a coin in there? Yeah, like, you really... You look at a porn star's asshole up there. You look at a porn star's asshole at an angle, you wouldn't look at a lover's asshole, do you know what I mean? Like, you're up way too close. I normally, you're like... Yeah, or you, you might even be like that, but you're not mm-hmm. going to be... You know, true. That's true. You're it's, ne- you're, it's very, very. You're, ne- you're never like inspecting like you are. In re- you know, in real yeah. life, it's always a weird. It's all. It's either way too close or it's kind of down. Yeah. You know. But that was like, that was like you're doing Co- it. Cleopatra coming at you. Like you're like and, you're a doctor. Like, yeah. And she, that woman needs to see a doctor. Like you could, you could see how much work it's put in. Aye. Do like, you know what I mean? You're cauliflower like arsehole. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does it need like a drawstring on it, like it, the top it, of it, it, the bag you put a sleeping bag in? Yeah, oh. exactly. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like just like one of those bags that they keep a herder in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Spar bag. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was fucking rough. Like oh. I was like, and then as well as that, because like I you know you never really fucking watch the preamble of the porn. Well. She's setting up the story, so I'm sitting in these goggles just on my sofa, like, and you, you like, you're looking around the room, oh, fuck, some, some bathroom, that, and then you're, ah. and she was like, I've got the carpet samples, daddy, and I was like, I'm no one's duh, fuck, sake. And like, carpet samples? Disgu- I, I mean, they there, was one, there was one of those ones where, like, <laughs> this is the guy's laughing about, there was one of those ones they're going, we need to set this scene up quickly, because it's a VR preview, Yeah. so she was like, I got the carpet samples you wanted, and then pulls her muff out and goes, what do you think of this carpet? Oh, that's <laughs> and funny. And then starts bucking, but... It, it was it was terrifying. That's a funny joke. Yeah, wasn't bad. You could keep that. I had poor bloopers. Wait till you're wait till you're doing a bit of house shopping. With the girlfriend yeah, the com- there. The Comedy Central spit roast. What rug do you think we should get? <laughs> you know what, Aaron? Pull your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if I, I reckon in about five years, you're just gonna you know like when it gets really advanced and it's like one of those fucking 
IMAX things where it's like tss, tss, firing Aye. fucking fluids and smells at you and everything. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna be a like, fat cunt from Blade. You know that guy with the shine yeah. the light on <laughs> <laughs> And that's all I do. I just fucking, you know, I've got a letter picker for Watsits and then Aye. I just sit there I, with it. One of them piston dicks. Even, even with that one, I'm like, just fucking, just make me a paraplegic. Take my legs away, give them to somebody else, and I'll just sit there. You're getting there? I, I know. <laughs> I honest to God. Like, like fuck my hands started cleaning up, I could use it. <laughs> I'd love to see what would happen if you went to one of those Thailand things, you dip your feet in the fish. The fish like that. Fish <laughs> stuffed. <laughs> fish <laughs> like, any rannies? Any, <laughs> any lennies? <laughs> oh... <laughs> uh, fuck! I wonder how the, the the VR headsets are going down over there, where you know the 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 sex work is, you know. Well, I dare say for for a lot of it, they're accessible. Uh, to say uh, they're sick looking them because they're just <laughs> next one. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have Mickey's? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god, she just steps up from making like fake Barbies to fucking suck two dicks. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these places. <laughs> Just putting together like f- fake AirPods in the next time. <laughs> oh, oh! You're 13 now. There's your ping pong ball. Get to work. <laughs> you finish homework. Here you go. <laughs> I'll never forget that fucking <clears throat> that show I went to. I know I used to do stand up about it, but like talk about. I know everyone has a similar story with something where it's like the hype is up at a certain Aye. level and in the real the grimy like in the flesh reality of it you're just like oh my god Aye. I was thinking that we went to the sex show in Amsterdam we thought the exact same thing more because there was enough room to actually for the three of us to sit in the same yeah especially with room. three erections you know what I mean like, but, <laughs> but it is the most unsexy thing of all Aye. time like it's, it's fucking horrible because you, you know we work in showbiz technically and like you know, you know the crack. You know uh, what I mean. You know, you know she's like, it's not grand enough for it to be an illusion. You, you know, there's somebody behind the curtain going, "Who's on? Who's emceeing?" <laughs> <laughs> she's running over. Is she only doing the banana bit now? Get off the fuck! It's not even her bit. <laughs> <laughs> I seen Bill Cosby do that years ago. <laughs> I know. It's always, they must go fucking. They're keeping uh, the banana business in trade, though. Uh, is that new thing you're doing? That's fucking class. Will you, will you spit on them? Oh, that'd, be a, that'd, be, that'd be like a weird business, you know, like, I sell uh, bananas in Amsterdam to, to 500 venues. <laughs> my head, but is there a one-liner sex worker? Just <laughs> don't, know why, don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Blow me with all that. I wonder, can you, you know, like, have an injury? You know, like when you're on the blob, do you get to wake off every month? Is it just mandatory? Like, I don't know. Fuck it. You've got, a, prof- you've got, a, you've got yeah. a professional vagina, you know what yeah. I mean? It's like a fucking, it's like an, af- I, an, an it, athlete. Do you take time off when the cramps start or do you wait until the jam's there? Like, jam. Jam. That's the name Sorry, of the Sorry, the compot. <laughs> Flute compot. <laughs> dude <reserve>. compot. <laughs> the fucking dude corner. <laughs> <laughs> View the jam out of the yogurt daughter. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that we've talked about nothing but fucking porn. I know. Sorry, my fault. My bad. <laughs> what about that? Uh, Lavery's is back in action, uh, guys. Ukraine's looking fucking terrible. <laughs> Ukraine, hi, they're just going to slowly take it. Ah, uh, just. Are they? Me, me, let me have this, please. I like to. Do, do you, like, go to, say, like, Connor Keys for your news? And then I would no, bring I, one of you two on here and be I, like, what's going on in the world? Because I, I haven't abs- looked at anything. I've absolutely stopped listening to. I, I haven't looked at the news in ages. I don't even. I have no idea. What's do you know going what? On I had a thought the other day. I was like, I don't even know where people get news. Yeah. Do you know? Like, you go on Twitter and it's mayhem. Well, I, I find sometimes when people, if you if you say something, well, I always find it about COVID. If you say anything about COVID, they go, "Oh, where'd you get that? The internet." And I've always been like, "Well, yeah. Is there is there something better than the internet?" Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you're relying on papers nowadays, it's, it's too old. You know what I mean? You open up and you'd be like, "Jesus <laughs> Christ!" Don't touch this one. Fuck that. I pulled it out of Afghanistan. <laughs> you know, it's like just delayed too much. <laughs> You know? I, so I, I honestly have no idea what the, fuck, what the fuck's happening. No. And even weirder, I was in Edinburgh last weekend and didn't know what the COVID rules were. So you just in, in a space of three days going, what? It's just... They fairly, uh, they fairly just... I mean, it's amazing how quickly you forget about everything that's went on. Aye. Because as soon as they fucked up and had that party and Boris is like, do whatever you want. Aye. Terrible impression. Um, it's not bad, actually. Uh, but it was, you know... Uh, it's like when you have a headache and you take a fucking pill, you just forget what it was like to have right. a headache 10 seconds yeah. ago. It's all, but it's also like whenever you have a headache and you forget what it was like to not have a headache. 
Do you want to do that? One? Do you ever have that? Oh yeah. What's it like not to be sore? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can you can relax your head. Eh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I shit now. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, oh no. Oh. A fifty p. Fuck you, Eva. Eva, you fucking reckless bitch. <laughs> there she is. There though. Are they a couple of natties, are they? I d- I don't believe so. Okay. Okay. Now, I believe she was a sizable in court. I don't I, know why I, you answered I, like sorry, that. Yeah. I believe she was a sizable gal before. Hmm? And then just extended them. Okay. Well, she is the, the conservative of tit, of tits. She <laughs> conservative. Titty. She is a professional. Uh-huh. uh-huh. But yeah, like I was saying, Lavery's back to full swing. Now guys, you should get down. It's great. Last night was fucking class actually. It was genuinely great. like because for about it felt like Larry's of old, as everyone it, kept saying. Well, that's not a you know like for since comedy came back there, and I hate to talk shop too much because that was another bit of feedback from the survey. Oh, really? People were like stop People talking about stop comedy. Stop talking about comedy in a comedy podcast. Aye. they're like be more funny. Some guys like you've put on the beef, and you're like wasn't even a question. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't even a fucking question. I'm trying to buy milk. I think you know when you see all those you know like the girl from um, Dairy Girls put up a thing like if you have a comment about my body, keep it to yourself type right. thing. I get it now. Yeah, oh yeah. Because you do, you get some asshole going, fuck, you're a fucking fat cunt. And you're like, what did you think was happening? Right. Do you, I always find that... What angle were you looking at me at? And then right. and then one time I turn around, you're like, oh my God, you I, fat bastard. I always find it happens to me with stuff I've already slagged myself off about. Yeah. So like, I go, you fucking scary hand cunt. And I'm like, you're using my material against me now. Yeah. I'm treating you like a comedian. Yeah. And that's hack. I'll fucking slither over and that girl right. Alex and Fucking buck your fucking... <laughs> I nearly said wee girl, and but I meant as in girlfriend. But it came out like I'd buck your daughter, and I'm not. Yeah, we can cut that out. Actually, I'm too slippery to hold on there. She'd get away. <laughs> but yeah, body positivity. All about it, man. All about it. All you're, about looking, it. you're looking great. I'm, I'm looking good. Yeah. You're looking good. Uh, I did have a moment there at the weekend. I, I was <clears> in a hotel, and like, Tom Segura does a bit about it, but walked past the mirror at a different angle. Oh, yeah. And Philly was like, I might, I might contemplate some sort of drip only diet. Yeah. Do you know I mean? Sometimes you do get a fucking. Yeah. It, it's the light thing. You get used to your angles and your light in your own house. Yeah. And then you're caught. Like, do you ever tr- try something on in like a next? Oh, fuck. With a R- fucking bright light above you. And you're like, what the f? River Island's the worst because it has a wee third mirror in the corner. Mm. So you see, like, it's supposed you to see, yourself you see from- the back of a jacket and you see your own fucking. You go, I don't even. Do I have a tattoo? <laughs> like, oh, oh, yeah. Even just see, sometimes I'll Tattoo dr- of a fat cunt. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking life-size fat cunt on my back. And sometimes you look at it. Like, I'll, I'll just even be like, is that the texture of my back? Aye. Is that what I'm not seeing every day? Yeah. I Like, our podcast, we changed, like, we got a new studio and changed the sort of camera angles. Where, and where are you now? We're still in the same building, like. Oh. Just in a different room, so. But um, when the camera, it took me, a, like, a couple of episodes to get used to what I actually look like. Oh, Because the way we had it before was kind of a wee bit more flattering. Yeah. And now I'm like, I think what you know, maybe sort of attempt that sort of Joe Rogan thing where the camera's way far out. Yeah, and then they come in quite a bit on it instead I'm, of just being right up in your fucking mug. That's uh, it's disgusting. But I need right? to, I need to do something because like I walked into a film station today and mm-hmm. I got a couple of bits and I was walking out, you know, with my fucking big puffy gilet, my hood up and all, and my mask. All right. And I walked like this, and there was a an older gent coming in the door, and the doors went like that, and he literally walked back. Oh shit! I'd let you. Yeah, like he didn't. Yeah. He didn't just go. Oh, sorry, mate, and walk past. He literally took like three steps back, like this, and I was like, "All right, mate." All right. See, things going on here. I tend to get an opposite sort of thing where people will walk straight into me, and I go, "The fucking size of me." Yeah. How'd you miss that? How, how did you? Like, I'm 16 stone at the minute. How in the name of fuck <laughs> did you think you were going to walk through it? Fuck. You fucking dope. Here's and another. Then I, then I get another ten of coke and a sausage roll and go. Don't worry about it. Just want to eat my feelings. And they're like, "Do you just hang out here, Mick?" And you're like, "Oh, ah." So I'm trying to get a new hole in my belt, but I'm waiting for the man to come out. <laughs> I actually greet people. Here. I'm gonna say, "Man, my daddy left me here a while ago." I he, fucking. He said he's ready to get nailed from me. Here's a fat cunt move. I got out of the shower today, full belly box. You know what uh-huh. I mean? It's my own house. I do what oh, I want. You know what I mean? And I walked in the, and I was like, "Fucking foot or about my phone, cock out." And I sat down in the bed and I was like, oh, I fucking class. And I had my boxers there. <laughs> and I just grabbed them. And I went to sort of slip a foot in. And I, as I stood up, my arse just like, just clamped. <laughs> just clamped two socks. And I stood up. And I, <laughs> I had two Nike socks just hanging out of my ass crack. <laughs> 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 
So I'm probably gonna take my <laughs> take my shoes off later and Aye. just be like, was my foot in my asshole earlier? That's a night god I'd pay to see. Imagine <laughs> just fucking zooms Hurt in on the myself today. Fucking just <laughs> someone getting carried across the line. Some basketball player broke a leg. <laughs> to see if I still and I'm like psh, psh. <laughs> two Nike socks out of the crack. Fucking hell. <sighs> yeah. I've what's I'm trying to think what's the fattest thing I've done recently. Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of moments where like <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen the video <laughs> The video with the dude He's like Got this his mask on He goes yo man And a fucking neck knack Falls out of it He goes Is that a chip? That's the fattest shit I've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell I, I do panic like at, When I get on a plane And I'm like Am I getting close to this Fucking Excuse me Can I have another wee bit of belt? I'd be getting Which there. I'm not But you just panic a wee bit that, Yeah because that's when I'm like, it's too late now, kill yourself. If I'm, if I'm, you see, I don't know, I'm just thick in all directions. So it, everything pisses me off. Like no. my knees are hitting something, my, leg, my legs are too wide. I never fit under tables. Bye. Like I'll, it always hits me in the legs and I go, what the fuck see, is I'm this? built like a fucking table tennis racket. So <laughs> <laughs> my legs are dead on. The toffee apple bottom. Yeah. Slender and delicious looking legs. The chubba chub. And then just the fucking, the back and ass of an old Jewish man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do look like a genie, you know, like you <laughs> <laughs> I bad hygiene. Just what's that fucking oh I'd love to have, I'd love to have a lad in. <laughs> Oh, dude, I have a fucking migraine off that. <laughs> <laughs> Bad hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> fucking the personal hygiene. Uh. Uh, it's fucking it's stinking. Like. Uh. I, not my hygiene, just the, the actual body in general. Did you work my legs much? I haven't been able to do any action. Like, I was saying this before. The I, internet like, has missed the skipping. It's, not even, sure. it's like I haven't been able to uh. work out at all for four months. So, like, I went uh. for a, a walk yesterday Fuck. and then today again, and I've got shin splints from walking. <laughs> And I wasn't like, I wasn't walking like fucking. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was, Where we are swiggling. I, I was dandering, listening to a podcast, smoking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Like, it's so, not good with like general shit. I just, up. yeah. And then it was, I was like, I did this thing. Uh, where I was walking up the stairs in my flat and I was like, fucking, we been out of breath. And then I went, oh, I just breathed the wrong time. Don't worry about it. And yeah. then this morning after a walk, <laughs> I was like, fuck me. <laughs> Did you not so, notice like your breathing all getting better when you stopped smoking for six weeks or something? Do, I noticed my, <coughs> the taste was like unbelievable. Oh yeah, eating food like what the fuck? Yeah. Um, and then I, I could smell cigarette smoke from about half a mile away, and I made me feel sick. Yeah. And then I had a rack of pints, and I was like, I'll oh, just one won't do, uh, do any harm. But I'm still not really smoking. Like I just dabble just when he- I'm when I'm awake, just here and there, just, like uh, the first thing in the morning, last thing at night. Yeah, I remember whenever I stopped, that, that, like I got it to, and it was, we were living in Scotland, and it was the shittest things ever, like we went to a nice sunny day, went to this pub, not the old school house or whatever, beside the uh, stand, and I had a fucking curse light, which is rank anyway, Aye. but I just remember being like, mm, I was delicious. Delicious. Yeah, I think I, had, I think I had a gold bar, and I was like, fuck me, is that what that tastes like? <laughs> Gourmet? Was, Jesus Christ, that might fit, me. And then the other thing, I remember just making it in the house one Sunday, and it was like, Pancakes, bacon, fried egg, and brown sauce. Aye. And literally, the fu- it was like the drool was coming out of my mouth past <laughs> the food. I was like, oh my God. Aye. Delicious. Again, one of those things where I was like, it's, uh, no, it sounds stupid saying it now, but it, it was very easy to not smoke. It's not that hard. There's a bit of yeah. like itchy gums for a couple of days. You're yeah. like, fuck me, fuck me, I'm smoke out of a gypsy's But again, it's just, it's just the habit of it. So it's like, uh, oh yeah. Like, because I'm back gigging, I'm not like, thinking about smoking again. Yeah. But, Six weeks in the house with nothing to do. Didn't think about it once. Did the vaping do anything for you? I when I vaped, I only vaped once a years ago, and it made me worse because I wasn't an overly heavy smoker. And then I was vaping in bed. Yeah, because I was bored. <laughs> and then I was like, I fucking like it more like the nicotine. Do me shapes now. Yeah, and that wasn't even like a fucking like Game of Thrones dragon vape. I just had a normal. This yeah. is to try and help you stop smoking one. Yeah, but it was still like oh blue breeze. Because it seemed Willie T, you know, does he work in a smoke or a vape shop or something? He used to. I don't know if he still does. He? He's know. got he smokes some fucking science. Like, Aye. would you see him? Like, what is that? 
Uh, he's got the wee fucking pen one night, like the wee kind of oh, almost looks like one of the ones you would get the weed in. And what the fuck he had yesterday? It's like it was a pregnancy test. What he doing? <laughs> yeah, it looked like a Stanley knife. Ah, you're just like, weird, <laughs> yeah. like weird, weird shit. <laughs> Don't do it. No. One of them big pens with the four colors. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Shook a figure, a real one. I mean, one of them fucking day thin. Remember those wee lollipops that were like <laughs> like a whistle. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Smell delicious too. Aye, uh, lot of tang. I'm gonna have to fucking stop though. Again, <clears> it was just like, like you still, even though I'm only maybe maybe buying a packet a week. Yeah. You're still like, I didn't need to spend that. Do you need to get the shop for a loaf and then you go buy a packet of eggs? You see, you smoking, and you're like, Casey smokes and all. Does he ever, does he ever, like, does he ever go down that rabbit hole of like, he's fucking this, you know, like tobacco? Firearms and tobacco. No, and I don't all, think, I don't, you know, I, with, with, I, a, with a grip on the nation. I don't think, I, I think Fags the only thing keeping Casey grounded. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I think it's Special weird because we, I think he's just, I don't know if Connor's ever, like, even tried to stop smoking. I just don't think he gives a fuck. He's just, Smokes, yeah. Um, but I, I mean, it's just a fucking stinking rotten habit, like. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just at a certain point, I was just scared of it. You know what yeah. I mean? I was like, I would wake up after like smoking loads and just be like, "This is enough." I, well, I've had enough. Uh, shit. I felt like that this morning for the first it time. It hasn't worked with food yet. You know what I, I mean? I'm like, fucking, <laughs> we'll you know, get there eventually. I'll have a twenty deck of nuggets to wake up. I, and be like, hey, can't breathe. Well, that's like I woke up this morning because I I hung around Larry's last night until about until the kick was at like half twelve, and I wasn't drinking. But I woke up this morning like, oh, fuck, I feel like I'm dying. I had like two or three extra fags. Hangovers are worse, like. Hangovers are definitely worse when you smoke as well. That's for yeah. sure. That's what. That's actually one thing I noticed. I remember going out at one point, I think it might have been New Year's Eve, and I drank and felt fine the next day because I hadn't smoked fags. Yeah. Do I, mean, yeah. I had like fucking about two months of just free passes with booze. No. Because I would just wake up and like have a mild headache and have two paracetamol and be like, I am good to go, yeah. baby. I was the same, just fucking down a pint of water. I was like, I'm fine. I had my first kind of pints in a while the other day uh -huh. at the pub, you know, just you know, like a real turbo fucking was up Aye. for about maybe about seven pints. That's the perfect. And I was sucking them Aye. down like the first one. So it was like embarrassing. Because see, when you play that fucking, oh, we're splitting the G and all. Aye. You know, and you're like, well, order me three of them because Aye. it's gone now. Yeah. You know, I'm like, Mwah! Oh, missed it again. You know, it's like, it's like two sips in it. Whoops. But I was I was absolutely inhaling them. That's, uh, I think seven pints at our age is the perfect amount of pints. I felt it. Like, I felt yeah. it the next day in my brain aneurysms. But I, uh, me, me and my dad went out two or three weeks ago. And it was the same thing. Like, the, the next day, the two of us were like, do you remember going home? <laughs> I was like, fucking not really. Oh. And we're like, well, didn't... It was like daytime. It was kind of daytime... Turned like got dark as we were in the pub, so you come out after like six, seven pints. Yeah, like, oh, why? And then that air hits you. Yeah, couldn't remember a fucking thing. There is something about being, like when you're like relaxed drinking, I'll black out after two. I why? See if you're out and you're like, yeah, fucking Jager bombs and we had a good time. And do you remember that happened? Though? Yeah, if I'm like in the house, comfortable, you know, and people are around or whatever, I'll be on my third can, just like. You know, fla flying through space. I there's fucking that's breathing my, all heavy, having a piss in your house. Yeah. <laughs> my my dad's going back to work soon, and I'm like, can we just get one day while you're still technically retired, where we just go to the pub when everybody else is at work? You see, I that I get so jealous. Of that. that sounds great. It's going drink with your dad. Boss class. I couldn't imagine going drink with my dad. Go drink with my dad. He'd be like, drink? we're gonna drink red wine and listen to Nick Drake. <laughs> 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 and I'll, I'm like, <coughs> will I bring the gun? <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> so I'm going to rewatch Lord of the Rings. Oh, your dad loves Lord of the Rings too. Don't he? With the sound off. I, whilst listening to Nick Drake. <laughs> me, me and my dad get the point. We always, it's, it's, it's actually fucking terrible that we laugh at it, but there's a bit in, you know, in the name of the father. Yes. Right, there's a bit in that where the, have you ever seen, like, have you seen it? I haven't. Uh, no. I need, it's on my list. There's it's on my list of classic movies that I haven't seen. There's basically a bit where like Daniel Day Lewis and Pete Postlethwaite are in a, they're in jail for something they did not do. And oh, Postlethwaite? Ah, uh, big grandma. Oh uh, my! But they're just like it's like the dad's just trying to keep any kind of fucking normality going, and Daniel Day Lewis's character just fuck like he's just like what the fuck are we doing in jail? And they're eating chips, and the dad's trying to keep all beat. And he, there's a bit where he just goes, "Them chips not bad." And for some reason, <laughs> me and my dad think it's the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> like, so we're just in the middle of a session. Him chips are not bad. Two of us are pissing ourselves. <laughs> Why? Him chips are not the bad. The daftest thing in the I love that. Have you Him seen chips that? Are not bad. Have you seen that thing with um, Jimmy Dornan, that tourist? I started watching the first one, and then uh, I can't remember what happened. But it was like it was one of those ones where I was like, I want to watch this, but it's fun. Like it's yeah. it's fucking stupid. But there's just a bit, there's a bit where uh, 
he, he, they narrowly avoid an explosion uh-huh. and the police coming on and they're all sitting across the road like can't believe what just happened and uh, you know it's a bar basically and they bring a wee beer and all and he steps and he goes oh fuck that's lovely <laughs> you know what I mean just like a wee just so, a wee throw so you know like, when you go to like a, a pub down south and you get a, a genuinely glass pint of Guinness and you just have to go you just have, you do you just have to curse at it mm. fuck me fuck off you dirty fucking taste that I had, uh, we were in Sweet Afton a couple of weeks ago and I got a fucking old fashioned that every time I took a sip I had to sit it back down and go I hate old fashioned I fucking love them I don't know why I fucking I think it's because I feel like I'm in a, an important meeting when Aye. I drink one when I make a decision that someone's going to get killed like when you're a kid that's what you imagine whiskey to taste like yes you know like yes. ki- sweet and rich and yeah. all, but in real life it's like <coughs> Aye. even you know it isn't acquired it's one, it, whiskey's I who the fuck told me it was just something that's just like fella's age? Because I never liked it, really. Yeah. And then over the last maybe two years or so, I'm like, fucking that's... Like that, like, it's the red breast or red, red crest, red crest? Red breast. Yeah. I have a bottle that in the house. Crest where, like, I have a proper wee, like, dunk. Oh. Yeah. Oh, why? Whiskey's about the only drink where I'm like, it feels like medicine sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're... Like, like vodka's like, let me forget all my mind. It's the only thing I can't drink. Me, I'm the same. Can't like one It's like fucking. It, it's like Coke or something. Not that I've had Coke ever. Me neither. But uh, yeah, it gets me like a weird. If I was going to boke or something. That, oh, hello. Mm. That's, uh, Just had snooze. Lay on. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it makes me fucking. Gives me the spinnings, man. I think there's something to do with. Like, I like to be able to taste the booze. Oh yeah, and and so like with vodka, it's like I just I just, I just yeah, that is it. It's sneaky. Yeah, you're like I can't taste the drink in this, so I don't know much of drink. Yeah, but and then the next minute like, your face is on tiles. Yeah, and you're like you, how did this happen? You just like this Coke tastes like it's out of date. <laughs> if you're drinking vodka and Coke, oh yes, yeah. of course. Uh, I'm like that's cranberry juice. Well, <laughs> now nah, whiskey's good. What's a cranberry? Whiskey's whiskey's, whiskey's yeah, good shit. Mind. Like there's there's times I've you know you feel like. Uh, uh, and it's understandable why it ruins lives, but you know you can, no. you can just be like, I've had one, and my body just relaxed there. Oh, I feel warm, lovely and warm. I feel warm and yeah. tasty as this heroin. I um I do enjoy wee jeans and ginger ale. So yeah, it's mm-hmm. my favorite drink. It's my go to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Depends on the glass. Now if they just give it in some fucking shit, you're like, this needs to be in a a particular type of goblet. Ginger ale is a sneaky like you know I look like I'm drinking when I'm out, but I'm I, and I feel like I'm drinking. Ginger but I'm ale. Not. Also, someone I, I think I saw it in TikTok and I tried it out and it is kind of bang on. If you pour half a glass of Coke and half a glass of Sprite, it's ginger ale. It's ginger ale. Get out of my face. Well, it's definitely, life, cheaper to, it's definitely cheaper to buy one bottle of ginger ale. Do you know what I mean? Don't be, don't be, Aye. Don't be taking advice. Don't, don't be, be ruining two things. Aye, just don't be going out buying fucking, fucking four litres of juice just to make one cup of some other juice. Just buy the other juice. I was in, uh, it was Maureen's birthday, and we went to the fucking merchant for Lovely. cocktails. We didn't stay. Lovely. She Lovely. for cocktails. You know what oh, I mean? oh, oh, and I was driving, and it was after dinner, and, all, and she was, I was like, get whatever you want, love. In that lower half of the menu, you're a good woman. <laughs> but I, so but I got a, says starters. I, but I got a fucking uh, homemade ginger beer. So it was like made from scratch with right. like real ginger and you know some soda that some man from the twenties was like, <laughs> and uh, it was nine quid or something. I was like, right, I'll play along. And then it was fucking outrageous. I, I was like, I feel healthier after that. Yeah, I remember doing that in New York. We went up to the fucking. Uh, like the top of the Rockefeller Center, I think it's Rockefeller Center. One of the big skyscrapers, anyway. Uh, There's a like the You're sky open. bar, this, and uh, same thing. I was like, I can't fuck up. I mean, that's basically a gin and tonic for fucking twenty five. That's a fucking. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> you even get me home. <laughs> <laughs> My knickers are coming off. <laughs> fucking dripping. I fucking the one and only fringe I ever did. You know the way, like for artists or whatever, it was the Fosters was cheaper or something, Aye. and you were just drinking. Fo- you were drinking a fucking ten, Scott Rot like the, Yeah, it's second. Ten liters of it every day, and we went around to the fucking. Is it the what's the other one? Assembly or something? What's the one like down the bottom of the thing? And uh, Morm was like, I found CV gin. It was like Hendrix and tonic and a cucumber in it. Aye. And I was, I took like one sip of it and I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> freshness. <laughs> After fucking Aye. seven thousand pints of Fosters, it's I was fucking, like, "This is incredible." I'm supposed to be going back to the fringe this year. We'll just talk of it, and I'm like, "For my health, I don't know if I can do it." Oh, because like, what am I on two or three years with no fringes? Well, my hair's been receding for four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> the class of you just had a really heavy, sharp fringe. 
Just give it. You're back with a full bowl cut. <laughs> one one. <laughs> All right, guys. Curtains off. Um, but I, I, I've like enjoyed having two summers where I'm not like killing your rocks every day. Like yeah, I know. Because it's like it just it it supports your behavior. Yeah, you know, hundred percent. Like I remember doing. Mickey's the drank and took fucking gear all day <laughs> for fucking seventeen days in a row. People were like, "Good mom, <laughs> he looks great. He's lost weight. Here, he can't stop shitting." <laughs> <laughs> I remember doing a solid shite post fringe, and my ass did not know what was going on. Like, it's like a baby getting solid food. It was all. Like, <laughs> 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 Yeah, fucking bro. Uh, and it was every day, like, you know. Um, and even on the, Instagram, you would look like you had a heavy night and then spent it staring into the distance at 6 a.m. And then see him again next yeah. day. That was like the, I remember talking to Jim Owen about it. And he goes, the friends is that bad when you go, were you drinking last night? And you go, act not really, but six pints. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're going, six pints on a Friday night is a decent wee sesh. But it's like. But every day, you're just fucking. From, from what I experienced, it was like, you would get hammered and wake up and be like, oh, fuck, I'm racked on. You would lie on a wee bit and maybe get a bit of breakfast and come home, get washed, and then be like, right, I have to go flyer and how many sold and all that shit. Aye. Get over the show. And last night seems like it was nine weeks ago. Yeah. And you're like, well, of course I can drink now because that was ages ago. Aye. It's, I think it's that once you do, you do your show, the adrenaline kicks in, you feel a wee bit better. Yeah. And then I've never managed to like walk from wherever the venue is to a bus stop or whatever to go home without bumping into somebody who's going to the pub that I know. Oh, it's a nightmare, I'm sure. And then you're like, ah, oh, all right, well. And then if I can't find them, I'll just keep looking. <laughs> what about McCann? I just do laps. Like, what about McCann saying, like, you know, talking talk about the fringe, like, I went there once and probably will never go back. But he, I remember he was, like, supposed to be going out to celebrate, like, results night or something. And he's like, oh, sorry, I just went over to Edinburgh and fucking went to the hot tub time machine. Some I lost suck my cock in the back and all. And you're like, from the word go, jammy <laughs> bastard. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> like 40 year old virgin and some fucking cougar just uh, fucking. The French probably wasn't old, it was probably a fucking. <laughs> I'd him, she was probably 26. You know what I mean? Sure, <laughs> fucking hoovering the pipe off me around the back. <laughs> you know, like the rest of us are fucking. <laughs> T- <laughs> tell me about her pension. The rest of us are just sitting with a fucking half thing of Foster's having a shower. Like fucking. Uh, I should go is. back. I, I'd love to. I, I'd love to do like two big gigs or something. Aye. Big ish gigs. It's, see what's weird about it is I fucking like even though I'm glad I haven't gone back the idea of going I'm like oh I can't wait yeah it's but just it's just the fact that for the entire year you're broke trying to pay for it I know do you remember uh, I thought I was when Maureen was pregnant and I was like I'm fucking I, I can just make some contacts here and do fucking late in life you know what I mean right. and it was shite you know, I was like, was, I don't need to do the fringe. I can just get all the the perks of it. That's like, why I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what it's like now because it that year it had gone to shit. Like all the comedians were going, this isn't sustainable. It's too big. Like there was fucking shows everywhere. Yeah, it was too dear. The trying to rent the flat for less than three grand a room or whatever was insane. That's nuts. It was like. just it was nuts. Um, and then obviously it was cancelled 2020. Last year they had like the fringe, but it wasn't as big. And all the comedians were like, it felt like. What a fringe is supposed to be, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not supposed to be because when it's a bit like podcasting, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, be, it's like nothing feels independent anymore. It's like if you're already a big established comedian, yeah. you go over and just scoop all the money out well, of it. Yeah, and and that's leave. what happened as well. Was like because uh, I was talking. Remember Sean Patton? Remember who did yeah. you take your walk up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so funny. I was talking to him. And um, he was saying like his American agents came over the last week, <coughs> and all the, all the TV ones come like the last weekend. And when he asked them why, they went, "Well, we want to see who gets all the good reviews first, and then we'll go over and see them." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "That's not your job." He was like, "You should be going out. You should be here for the month, find looking out for fucking everybody." Yeah. Because what was happening was the big acts were the only ones getting reviewed. So you know, Duck. Yeah. So he was talking about like four arms and hog. He went, "They've had fourteen reviews. He goes, they've sold out an eight hundred seater for a month. Yeah. They don't need a review." Well, yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like some content's trying to sell tickets. Review is like it. on your way up and someone's vouching for you, basically. Yeah. When the fucking thing sold out flat out, it's like, but, review my bollocks. Yeah, this must be. Yeah, imagine going and sold out for 30 nights, 800 seats, and they're like, mm, two stars. Fuck yeah. off. Like, like it's, a, you know, I, I don't know if I've ever had a quote that I could use for a poster um, ever. I have one. I had one and a two star review, and it was uh, genuinely hilarious, but ultimately forgettable. And I'm like, you can't be both of those. <laughs> That's amazing. Should have been like hilarious and ultimately forgettable, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Was it funny? Or sort of. Well, I some... laughed. <laughs> we'll hit some questions here. We'll, we'll fucking loads. What's your worst Holy Lands experience? 
I mean, we we put a shift in there when, in, in the early podcast yeah. and comedy days. Yeah. Just going to Rocky's floor and just be like, can I have this couch pillow? Yeah, that was fucking... And lie on it and get I, fucking... I can remember us going to that flat with like a crate of beer each afterward, but not... Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like she would just get... But that's why last time I gigged in the Hatfield, I was like, I didn't know there was an inside of this building. Yeah, I never knew. I was like, I thought, I thought you just... <laughs> the Polish guy let you in the side and you bought 24 fucking room temp uh, Carlsberg. And had a, a, and a bit of an arm wrestle with a woman in pajamas with a fucking pit bull. Yeah, and then, like, bar- <laughs> and then barfed it up later yeah. on. Uh, yeah, I hadn't been in it. I don't think I'd ever said it's something inside it. It is, it's great. Food's class, though. Jesus Christ. Uh... I think, the wor- I think the worst one I ever... I remember one time mooning a taxi I got out of and the cops were right behind it. Mm. And two, it was two female police officers got out. And I was going into my sister's flat because she was living... She basically was renting a flat which was at uni. Was staying in her mate's house because her flat was shit. And I was working in the civil service hanging about with you. So I was like, here, can I have a key? I just fucking... I just sleep in. You know, hating. Sorry. There is a photo um, somewhere of me and you just in the same bed. In like your sister's house one time we were staying in it. Aye. It was very sexy. Foundered. Foundered. Yeah. Yeah. I remember me and Kieran Bartlett going back to her drunk one time, Kieran poking the sink. And he doesn't even drink now. He doesn't even drink anymore. Eh? <sighs> one one of the worst experiences I've ever had was you see, I went to Derry, you know what I mean? Like I so Jay, like, like, you, you, you weren't yeah. hanging about in fucking Holy Lands that much, but like <clears throat> I remember um Oh no, actually I remember fucking there was a, I think we just left school actually and a guy that I knew was going with some girl and her sister had been at uni and they were like, oh, we're all out on the piss, let's go to this Aye. this house or whatever. And we turned up and there was this dude in a suit and someone was like, who's that? And they're like, oh, that's our, our like landlord. And the guy was just f- banging some wee girl. Fucking hell. And she came down the stairs with her face, like, you know, she had like fake tan on and then a couple of fucking uh, skid marks on it from recent fluid, uh-huh, uh-huh, let's just uh-huh. say. And everyone had to just act normal, like, is this motherfucker is 40? Just, Banging this like eighteen year old. Fucking hell! In here. <laughs> you know, like fucking your one beer that you brought. I, the older you get, like legend. I don't know if I want to go to fucking university. To be honest, is that I, what landlords was, do? I remember the time I ever tell you the story, but so my sister, so my sister was staying on a house. Her and her mate both essentially moved out, but they paid the rent for the year. But there was another girl that lived there who had also moved out. Right, so the house basically sitting fucking empty, and there was one night me and my sister and her friend were blocked. And you could hear noise coming from the upstairs bedroom. <coughs> it's the girl who moved out into her room. And uh, my sister and her mate were looking at me like, you may go up and see what that is. And I was like, why me? Like, you, you're both, you're both big girls. Like, uh, you can, you can fucking for, take a dig. One. And I went up the stairs and grabbed the mop that was sitting outside the room, like knocked the door. And this wee, like tiny wee skinny fucking spade opened the door. And I was like, who the fuck are you? And he's like, who the fuck are you? Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> and I looked behind him and then this girl was like, sorry, Mickey, I still have my key. But so she basically, this, and I mean, she was a fucking unit, right? Had taken this guy back to the, from like Lavish or something just to ride him. But he was like, I remember thinking it must look like he, like you're wiping your fanny with him. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He was fucking tiny. And she was a fucking. And she was like, sorry, mate, fuck on, just get my hole in. <laughs> just floss on my front crack. Uh, he's like, are you going to hit me with that map? Please don't. But no, but do wash my face because fuck me. Oh. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. It's so sad. It's like Boba Fett down there in the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> Best looking woman from Northern Ireland. What's your opinion? She and Todd in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Who's famous from Northern Ireland? Do you know who I always have had the hots for? Remember the girl Valentine. Orla that was on Big Brother? Oh, why? No. You could fucking swing around her house now. She live near here? Probably. Not allowed around anymore. My tag will go off. <laughs> Skin tag. So <laughs> <laughs> he called my dick. Oh, oh dick. Nice. Easy enough. Uh, I, I'm going to type in very quickly. Famous, famous women. Northern. Oh, shit. Northern. Okay, come on, Not guys. very quickly at all. That's, in fact... It's very, very, very slow. Say, what am I, yeah. fucking stenography? Um, who forgot that's famous? Mary Peters. <clears throat> <laughs> Fuck yeah, take her in that fucking track a couple of times. So you can throw your ball back across the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> the shot. But, um, famous women in Northern Ireland. Hot. Let me see. <laughs> 
Did you mean? <laughs> Shane Tondawig. Did you mean? Nude. <laughs> uh, 14 women amongst... Is this greatest women from Northern Ireland? We're talking... Are we talking greatest women? Or like, like, she's fucking great. Uh, I can't think of any. Nadine? Coyle? Let me see. Blakely? Blake. No. Very attractive. Very attractive. Very attractive. We pet. Mm-hmm. No, she is very attractive. Yeah. Uh, Gloria? I would. E! <laughs> oh! Ah! H-E-N-N-I-G-F-1! <laughs> yeah. No, she's a wee pet as well now. Who's this? Paula... What the fuck is that? Let me see. See the actors in the middle? Who you were talking about? They just write Paula. Give her just full. Paula. Give her Paula full. Paula Machepe. Philomena Begley. Nah. Get it in the. I'd rather fill soda than a Philomena. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know any of these women. These are greatest, as in, you know, they've done Most great. Most influential. They've done great things. Not one dairy girl among them, sure. Not. I have the dairy girls as well. That's right, now. What's her name? Hey, Jimmy Lee. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I was watching. I don't know why I come up. Do you know why you put something on YouTube and YouTube just starts playing stuff? And <laughs> yes. it was it was Donald Trump on fucking on David Letterman's. That's how old the clip was, right? Right. And it was uh, it was one of those like fucking twenty times celebrities have been roasted. And Donald Trump's like, we got we. Uh, you gotta get Mitt Romney in, do, losing too much money to China, I'm not gonna put business in China. And then fucking David Lerman pulls out these shirts and ties he's got on, so he's like, they're the best shirts you can get, the ties are great, I'm told they're great. And then David Lerman's like, these ties are made in China. And I swear on my fucking life, somebody goes, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking told you! Tell him, fucking orange bastard. You're fucking wanker! <laughs> Her shit. So is your tag. <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> Do a shell suit or something. China. <laughs> Ask him, has he got an Audi yet? No. So what would, What did you think? Like, a brand new Audi was £5,000? No, no, no. I thought I was going to get paid way more than I got paid. From one gig? From th- all three gigs. Yeah. Uh, and you were going to and then it was, it all was, on a I fucking was, Audi? I was looking at second-hand ones, so I was going... To, in my head, I was going, I'll say... I'll go, there's 10 grand. I'll pay the rest of it off. And then, Insane. yeah. Why and would, then, why did you give them 10,000 pounds? Exactly. And then, um, I Cash just, came. Was, yeah. I know. And then I ended up just going, I, I don't have the money for that. What, uh, what were you looking at? An RDA5. Two deer. Two deer. A5. Mm-hmm. Just like the shape of them. Uh, just like the look of them. Yeah. <coughs> there's ways to do it. Like, you don't uh, need to, you know what I mean? We'll just get back on tour and fuck. I seen someone uh, they were like when you pop to the shops as an Audi driver, and they put the the shopping on the like the counter of their kitchen, and it was just like fucking two two gallons of motor oil put in the fridge. I see Nissan Jukes are very similar. Yeah, not bad. Except it's a lawnmower engine. The Japanese technology. Yeah. <laughs> Makes like I'm popping out here. Put the Let me just just walking behind. <laughs> I'm just priming it. A hundred and three point turn. <laughs> It's clogged. Turned up. Turned turn over. <laughs> Don't put your hand on still on. <laughs> Duck. The Nissan Duke. Oh my god. I was even more upset than Willie T got a DLA in Nissan Duke. I didn't realise there were DLA cars and his is class because it's top of the range. Has he got, got the, four wheels. Has he got the swivel seat going around the side now? <laughs> I don't know, does he? You can throw the legs out. I'd have one of them in, a, in any car. Like a should, baby seat like, in the front where you can just go... <laughs> You should have that in all the cars. Because even if you're not disabled, you can pretend you're in a spaceship. I mean. Yeah, I seen a video with Justin Bieber getting into Fer- a Ferrari and it looked like he was getting into a washing machine. I was like, how the <laughs> fuck would I? I? I could never own one of those. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He was like, <clears throat> like a contortionist. Fuck that. Cut the roof off. Uh, heavy in the diesel too. No. <laughs> awful, <laughs> awful dear attacks. You couldn't feed it. Oh. Uh, what's the crack with women not being able to empty the bin? Or the ability to leave the bins out on bin day? Sorry, the question is a bit bin heavy. Or is that the issue? At someone who's must be been there in his house, and he, at, man, I'll be honest with you, at, it's a, a no, I'm not a married man, but I've been in enough relationships to know that I don't know a single woman that'll take a bin out. It's and you know, my that's, that's universal. My fact. current wife, uh, she <laughs> won't, it's not even that like she won't take the bin out, 
it's like she's just like that. She will take the bin out of the bin and just leave it there. Yeah. And then be like, this is all the food recycling. And you're like, I would have, even if you opened the door and threw it outside. Yeah. I'll sort it out outside. But now it's just a fucking skip. My girlfriend will play, like, she'll play Ben Jenga. Like, it'll just be fucking piling up. And then. Do you put that in your gums when they're sore? <laughs> I was trying to think of something that was very good. I was trying to think of somebody else. I couldn't think of anything. Fuck. I was thinking, bend someone, bend something. But she'd also make another pile of rubbish and just leave it there. So we'd yeah. go back from shop and I'd go, where's the rubbish? Go, I just left it in the... Yeah. It's there. I just left it so all the fl- binges would come out yeah. for you to slip on. Yeah. Uh, Women are disgusting. Don't know a single woman's ever taken a bit out. Is that Except real? for, I think, my ma. <sighs> How's the health, Mickey and Colin? What's your favourite kind of whiskey? How do you drink it? Oh. How's the health? Mine is, uh, I'm alright apart from I have tendonitis on my arm, which is holding me back in the gym. Right, well, I'm alright apart from I have psoriasis of the hand, which holds me back in the gym. And I'm very so much. That's cleared up. I'm very much a guy who, you know, if I want to be taking care of myself, I need to be also, like, doing the work at night. Yeah. So that I feel like I need to I'm take care of myself. So I've kind of been injured, you could say, for the last while, mm-hmm. and I, mm-hmm. the, the fucking all bets are off. I will say this I was at a dermatology appointment yesterday, and the doctor read my blood results and said the word perfect in regards to my liver. And then immediately said, we don't like telling people that because they think they're invincible. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> she also at one point said, because the tablets I'm on, apparently you have to like note, because it can, this is, this is a bit much, but <clears throat> you can, it can cause abnormalities in, in babies, right? right? So you're supposed to like notify them if, uh, notify who? the doctors, if you, if like, oh. if you want to plan oh. to have kids, you have to let them know so they can take you off the drugs and whatever else. But this doctor just went, I'm, I'm guessing you're not planning children anytime soon. At first glance, like really? she looked at me and said that, yeah. and I was like trying to be a bit of crack. I was like, "Want me to say that?" She's like, "You're wearing a Cobra Kai t-shirt. I can say here you're nearly 35." <laughs> it's like I clap for you. You can't. And you won't say it's fifth birthday. So uh... <laughs> plus you've uh, you've given away that much skin recently. We just made a, cl- a pile. I would love to name it. Did we did we think of that before? Like you were going to do a sketch and you were just like the the deadly serious, but like. You know, like, you know, um, on this medication, there is risk of abnormality. So if you're going to spaff inside, I <laughs> would. You know, like just, that was one of, just yeah, Mr. You Smith, we have, uh, we've just examined, we've done the quick biopsy of the lump on your ballock. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Apply now, the ointment um, right on the beige daisy and about twice a day, and that should, that should clear it up. Really, what, really. what we'll do is now we'll further investigations to see how severe the tumour is. So what we'll do is we'll put this wee camera right up your deck hole and... Uh, <laughs> It's not here. He'll go up your fucking shade pipe too, just to make sure everything's all clear. And uh, now you will fucking splooge a wee bit, but don't panic about that. I'm used to, I'm used to seeing stuff like that. Last week, a man shit up the wall. <laughs> Nurse. Uh, <laughs> all right, Mrs. I'll just come in here and give a quick scan of them diddies. Uh, <laughs> it's not abnormal to find lumps on the nork, so we uh, we'll see what happens. You just want to slap your milk into that MRI there. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, with the foreskin removal we do uh, we will try to extend the wire before <laughs> <laughs> yeah it doesn't actually affect the current size and length of the wire but you know when we, when we do we remove do, the foreskin we, we do ask you to, 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 to uh, stay away from much balking for about six weeks <laughs> you will have a slightly sensitive helmet Whatever you do, when you go home, it is self care is very important. So it's very uh, important to keep the wound clean and try not to tug the belly yourself <laughs> <laughs> for at least four to six weeks. Refrain from you know pulling yourself into a point immediately because you'll pull the fucking bulb off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't turn yourself inside out if you know. What I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're not starting a lawnmower now. Come on. No. <laughs> Ah, God, the hell. After examining your stool sample, we have determined that your hole's wrecked. <laughs> Jordan, have you noticed any uh, blood in the cake? <laughs> <laughs> Doing the commit all official. Okay, Mr. Smith, uh, yeah. so you've got a problem with your dumper. <laughs> Does it sting when you pass pish? <laughs> Uh, any blood in your cum, no? <laughs> <laughs> Very 
very well, madam. <laughs> You're a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> fucking psychologist, we have. <laughs> it's a shrapnel. My ingrown toenail out the fucking. Ah, shrap bad ring. Oh fuck! <clears throat> I can't stop thinking about that. I can't stop doing it. <sighs> <sighs> if you were to do an NI comedian's weakest link, who would win? Is in the actual game show? Yeah. Depends who would fucking... You, Are you good at quiz, quizzes? Kind of. A lot of variables there, though. Do you know what I mean? Who's going to bank? Who's going to get it wrong? What? Like, you're talking... That's ten rounds. Yeah. Because, you know, I think... I think comedians would be like... Like, Kieran's smart as fuck. But then he has no... Sort of... Idea of what's going on right now. Do you know what I mean? Mm, neither do we. Like, you'll mention <laughs> something that's, like, globally massive. And you go, what the fuck's Tiger King? Like, he just... Got no idea. The Tiger King thing, I still, I'm reads it. I, I tried to remind, I tried to do a call back to that in our WhatsApp group about three weeks ago, <coughs> and nobody responded, and I was fucking fuming. What was that? I just went, do you boys remember Tiger, do any of you boys seen Tiger King? Because Kieran did that yeah. about a year after it came out. I know. Oh, and I was like, why do we let him forget that? Like, he has very specific knowledge about, like, weird shit from, like, three decades ago. But then you could just be like... You know, have you, have you, did you manage to avoid Corona? And he'd be like, what? No, I think like if you had William Thompson, I think would be screaming, why would you bank you cunt at any given time? Yeah. Paddy McDonald wouldn't answer any question until a lawyer got there. <laughs> like, yes, you got Bacardi just be drinking a pint of milk. What? <laughs> As a have you know. It's fucking wild, right? <laughs> What's Sriracha? Yeah, I'd just be like on my phone or something, probably. <laughs> call him, call him, I'd be like... What? Oh, fuck. Sorry, Al. I'd be taking it dead serious. I'm trying to buck on Robinson. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. Does the... Ramesh, Ramesh Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> I know he'd be asking you a question. You're like, me or... <laughs> <laughs> me and Ann Robinson was mean. There's no need for the dirty luck. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, would you? Have a coffee. <laughs> yeah, anyway, does Mickey want to become a father? If so, what's your best advice to him as a father? No, but I'm guessing if I should be leaving it in. Leave it in? Yeah, if you want to become a father, uh, fill it up, seal it shut. <laughs> uh, you'd be a f- fantastic father. I think I'd be good at it, but I think I've, I'm, I'm hitting that point now where I'm going, I think I'm a wee bit too old to start. I also think, like, a year of living on my own, I'm like, this is fucking bliss. I gotta say, it's like, it's... You just... Have no free will. There, yeah, that's that's the only thing. There's things too where like so because I my, my nephew's three, but the same age as Eddie, roughly. Um, and yeah, I know there's times, like, there's, I know there's times where I like look at my nephew and I'm like, I I will fucking kill the first person that ever makes you feel bad. Oh yeah. And then I go, if I amplify that uh, kid, I'd never let him leave the house. Yeah, there's you know what I mean? there I'd, is I'd, a bit I'd, of I'd that. it and be like, right, these are nunchucks. Yeah, like the one time Eddie slipped on a mat and cracked his teeth, I was like, there will never be a fucking rug in this house again. Right. Yeah, it's it's like freaking out. Like, I heard that uh, like so like another kid sort of like bullied my nephew a wee bit, and I was like, I'll beat the fuck out of him. And my sister was like, that child's also three. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Big enough to fuck on that, but we man, he's bad enough to take a beating off a fuck on. He kick a fucking child's head. Eh? Right. Uh, I got Tom Segura a bit when he's like, I'll put my foot through your chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I will kill you. Like, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Oh God! <clears throat> what else we got here? If you had control over each other for twenty four hours, would be the first thing you make the other one day. Sad. Get your pen number and your bank details. I'd be like, give me that Odyssey money, all of it. <laughs> give me that Odyssey money. <laughs> I'd go and buy myself an Audi. <laughs> one Audi, <ID>, please. <laughs> yes. Uh, doesn't have to be top of the range. Just uh, what would I? What would I do, with Mick? I would just enjoy that freedom you have. Yeah, just sit around picking your hands. All that's class. <laughs> I can pick any hand to be somebody else's. Huh? You're gonna be on that VR headset, just like fucking. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, just like someone's hand. Oh, that'd be a great game. I'm a werewolf today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What'll I do? I'm fucking Abu Hamza. Thank fuck. <laughs> Crocheting, you know, real handsy things. What'll I do? Card tricks. <laughs> The fucking <laughs> just gonna win try on rings. <laughs> Someday, eh? <laughs> 29th of February next year, is it? 
<laughs> oh, was the bridesmaid? I'd shoot myself, but it's too sore to pull a trigger. <laughs> I'd leave my finger in it. Uh, right. <laughs> I know you love a good coffee from O Donuts. They're on that. Will you fuck up, but mate? if you ever had a bad, have you ever had a bad coffee experience where you stopped you from walking? What? Where it stopped you from walking with the fear of shite dripping down your legs, asking for a mate. Love the podcast. I mean, everyone's had a coffee and nearly shit their knickers. Like, I had one in a, a, a uh, I'm not saying the name of the place, but uh, I'll tell you about it later. But I remember getting a coffee and thinking, that's gravy and you put salt on it. Uh, and Starbucks? No. It was <laughs> I like, said Mick Starbucks. Mick Starbucks. Um, and yeah, like the, one of those ones you go first sip. And I was outside, it was freezing. So I kept drinking it. But every time I saw it, my stomach was going blah, 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 blah. Oh, I was thinking. Costa is very harsh coffee. Aye. Uh, you know? Yeah. You get a migraine and like the shits immediately. Yeah, F- just automatic flu symptoms. Yeah, you you take like ha- you have half an americano and you're like, I need another twelve liters of water. Yeah, on that I'm like, Ugh, fucking stinking. <sighs> Someone really hit the fucking the toilets hard in Lavery's before. I went I into it with that actually yesterday as well. Yeah, <sighs> someone's not well. Yeah, <laughs> tell us where I came home last night and had a bowl of fucking honey nut Cheerios and then my arse and stomach were. Not talk, not good bedfellows this morning. What did you have? Feed a pint. I did had one pint and then a load of, no, in fairness, I had non alcoholic Erdingers, so maybe that was it. Good minute. <laughs> That's the name of my band. <laughs> the <Donald. laughs> well, I love the way these questions, this is the next question, like any hefty shites recently. Mm-hmm. I had one the other day near, <laughs> near me, me prolap, my prolapse have a relapse. <coughs> uh, worst, most uh, embarrassing experience at the gym. I think the time that I, I already know off the top of straight away, I was at a, a I was about 23, 24, but I was wearing like a grey fucking wife beater because it was summertime. And I remember this, I mean, hot, banging, banging hot woman come in. And everybody else was like fucking jacked. And I was thinking, she looks like the type of woman that would just be impressed by effort. Yeah. So I'm like, fucking. 345 and I like look I remember like looking around and trying Grams. to be, try, <laughs> trying to be all like hello there and I'd sweated that much the t-shirt changed colour apart from my nips and one wee bit of my belly like a wee smiley like face like a wee smiley face and I was like alright do you fucking, like fucking table tattoos do you oh, I actually remember you know the fuck the time I fainted <laughs> the time I fainted wanking <laughs> sorry the time I have told you I was on a leg press <laughs> and whoever had been on it before me was obviously much taller. So I, like, I was a new gym as well. I was like, how the fuck do you, like, fucking... So I grabbed the handle of the thing, but it was still sitting on it. So then, like, all of my weight slid down onto one of my fingers. Oh. And I remember, like, like yanking my finger out and looking at it, and I was going... Duh, 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 duh. And fucking went into the, the bathroom and lay down on the floor. Like, oh, fuck, I got a book. I got a fucking... I ain't got a book. <laughs> but the gym I was going to, there was a guy with, And this is terrible. When you fuck up, but that might actually that might be a good time to not tell the rest of the story. I will. Now go. There's a guy, the guy with cerebral palsy was like working behind the counter. So when I went into the gym, like he was like jacked, right? He was like shoulders and fucking biceps, and he was like, "I'll just get that wee form for you." And then as he, do you know, one of those things where like he's behind the counter, I can see fuck all. And as he walked away, it was like, <gasps> yeah, like proper fucking fair play, uh, yeah. and he like helped pick me up off the floor. And I remember thinking, it's like in Star Trek, whenever they go divert all power to forward engines. Because <laughs> like, his top half was like fucking horny. <laughs> he's the original genie. Yeah, I woke up all. <laughs> like, that was a bad one. He's on the phone to his co-worker with his wee disabled boy. Here, <laughs> hurt his finger. <laughs> I don't know about embarrassing ones. I remember like having a serious chat with these ones they used to go to the gym with. And they were like, oh, we'd love you to make some videos for us. And I was like, yeah, cool. And like, I don't know what it had the night before, but it was like, I think it was, you know what it was? Bran Flakes. Aye. Maureen had bought them and I was like, I'll eat these, I'll eat any cereal. And it just it went straight through me and I I'd j- already worked out and I'm talking to this guy. I was like, aye, we could do this and do this. And I had to just like be like, <laughs> I just w- walk away. Hold on, hold on. I think I left my phone. And just, aye. But no real embarrassment one. No real like. I've, I've had a couple of moments where I've, I mean, like when you're going to bug in the gym, I, I always find it's when somebody's talking to you after you've done a, like a mad workout. Because I had them, I had them one time in a boxing thing. They were doing circuit training, and I was like, "I've never booked." Like, like, have you? Not? I've done nah. it like twice, maybe three times. But this guy was like, "Right, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fucking teach us how to fucking slip a job and all." And I'm like, l- "Like, listen." And all I can think is, my hands are fucking roasting. And then I was like, "I don't know, Andrew, oh, fuck." Off. 
And then it was Axe Fast signed with Stroke. I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> like, head goes on fire. I bogged him in the bin in front of everybody. And the guy was like, right, you come back in. I was like, no, I'm clearly going home. Not well. Like, oh, fuck that. I've, I've, I've never worked out hard enough where we throw up. I mean, this is me we're talking about. I don't know what it is. Like, I think I just, I would bail out before I would ever be I sick. shucked the vending machine. And I was like, that's me pooped. <laughs> Two dark hoaxes. <laughs> oh. A tracker bar as well. Um, let me see. We have a few questions left here. Um, after hearing that McCarney is into socks, if you had to guess the other comedians' fetishes, what would they be? Great question. Very good question. We'll make that the last one. Sorry to, if we didn't get your get to your <clears> questions. <throat> um, <clears throat> what's yours? Big old titty, is it? Yeah, I, I would say like we might both be dirty pigs. You probably more so. No, I think I, I've seen more than two tits in ten years. Do you fuck, know what I mean? I fuck, think I think fuck. just you've been a long loving relationship, and I have not been. Hey, hey. <laughs> I own mirrors. I've seen four. <laughs> uh, you see, none of them are like weird kinks or anything. Yeah, I'm I'm very much like just give out a wee shake. You know, some the, we were talking to some comedians last night, and they're like, "Oh, I don't care about ejaculating. I just want someone to lick my asshole." Yeah, that's that's uh, that's an issue. That's a, it's. A, it's it's certainly it's it's certainly I've thought I've that's not mine, because uh, no. so, yeah brave woman fuck me yeah uh, I'm afraid to wipe mine half the time because <laughs> it bites my hand off <laughs> he's trying to grab me who else sort of weird kings Dave Dave's an oil guy yeah I think and but I, it's him him and the oil but he said no no yeah no, 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 like you know like he, he's like I like it on <laughs> what was that what was that thing you were talking about fuck oil in the ditty or something what was it. Oh, oh, the fucking uh, <laughs> oh shit! I a glisten on a ditty. But he said plays for Arsenal or something. <laughs> glisten ditty. Oh fuck! But uh, you know, I th- he's definitely an o- and it's like real. It's like olive oil. You know, yeah. it's like garlic olive oil. He's like, I, I feel like, da- but I feel like Dave oils himself and then slides out from under the bed. Oh yeah, and then yeah. what's the magic trick? Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> like uh, what else? McCartney does that, but with Beals. <laughs> no, he said his was socks. Did you not hear him? He's like, I like socks, boy. As in just having a wag in the sock or a girl well, wearing socks? that's what I thought. No, the girl's wearing socks. Mm. But I said, maybe it's from years you just launching loads in the fucking no, it could be that. pair of socks. Yeah. He goes, now we're getting to it. <clears throat> Who else is there? Shane's kink is probably, he, I don't know, he strikes me as asexual. Maybe they do that Jewish thing where he's like, put it through the sheet. Yeah. I th- no, I, th- I don't know, because Shane, as clean cut as Shane is, I reckon that's what the dirty shit is behind closed doors. Pegged. Mm. Pagan, passional, <laughs> pesh, pesh. Aye, somebody told him pesh is good for your skin. He was like, "Give it to my way." Mm-hmm. Uh, is it gluten free? I, I have to go gluten free as well. Oh god, it's delicious. Um, who else is there? Woodsy, Woodsy's be like food. I think. I know. I, I feel like Woodsy's Woodsy has to have sex on a pool table in a pub. No, I don't think so. Like, no, I think Woodsy's I think Woodsy's like, go on, let us pour this fucking Mexican rice over your daddies. You know, I think he's really like, I'm gonna put my cock on a tackle, and you can have a, you can eat it. Hi, sir. What about uh, you shit rice crispies into my hand? <laughs> <laughs> who else is there? I think who else is Jordan? Here, Jordan? Yeah. The fuck knows. I reckon Jordy's. I I mean this. I reckon Jordy's up for fucking anything. Jordy be like, where are this Belfast Giants top? Uh, and then fuck my <laughs> fuck my heart scar. <laughs> it's not that actor we were looking up earlier. <laughs> <laughs> fuck my heart. What's his name? Fuck Sorry, my scar? heart scar. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh god. <laughs> we're gonna have to get out of here. Six I back. loved you and Thor. Fuck my. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> better, better, sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck my heart scar. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Aye. We're going to get out of so here. We'll get some chicken. We're going to go and do a Lavery's gig. If you want to go to Lavery's anytime, it's on twice a week, my guys. So uh, you can get the tickets on my Instagram link. Oh. Mickey's on every single week. So uh, I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got nothing to do with you. And that's it. Patreon.com forward slash general about the podcast if you want that bonus shit. We're doing vlogs now. I keep getting the wrong button on our one of those. So I'll go to do something cool. <laughs> I'll just be like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, getting the plug, Mick? 
Uh, I'm on tour at the moment. Uh, so if you go to my Instagram to see all the details there, I'm in Enniskill on Friday night and I'm in Derry on Saturday. A few tickets available, handful left. And if you're heading into Armagh, there is a picture of Mickey on the side of the road. What, is it a good picture? Is it just it's like a poster? A, it's a poster. poster. Thank God. That was like a formal photo or something. <laughs> some weird <laughs> selfie. <laughs> anyway, we'll get out of here and get some fucking dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Barlett. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. 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 Now I did a real clap. Cheers. Okay. Ah, sticky earballs. balls.